This is my entry into the Bay Area Bike Share Data Challenge. Let's take a look. When it first comes up, it shows you the availability of bikes in the system right now. This is using the live feed and showing you how many bikes are at certain locations. And you can get an overall sense of availability from this, as well as how many slots are available in, this, in the system. Now this system covers other cities including San Jose and we can take a look at the availability down there as well. You see for example that a lot of them are kind of focused on the Caltrain station and there's other cities as well. Let's take a quick look at Mountain View for example. The avail availability there. All the way up to Palo Alto and Redwood City has quite a few as well. And again, the Caltrain stations are popular. In addition to live availability, we can also look at historical data. So let's take a look at the most popular trips in the system. Now most of these are up in San Francisco, although a few of them, if we jump down to, for example, Mountain View, you'll see there's a couple down here which are popular. Now these are trips to and from Caltrain, basically. And sure enough, you go down to San Jose, see the same thing. These are trips to and from Caltrain. So let's jump back up to San Francisco where things get a little bit more complicated. Now we can see there's a lot of focus around Caltrain here, the two Caltrain stops. But there's also a lot going on near Fisherman's Wharf and the ferry building. And let's see if we can learn more about it by kind of breaking things apart. So one of the fields that's available in the database is the subscriber versus the customer. Subscribers are long-term subscribers to the system, people who have uh, longer passes than just a day or a few hours. And you can see those tend to cluster more around Caltrain. There's a lot going on down here at Townsend and 7th. Others companies down there, but there's also, the, it looks like that's kind of the end of the system, so people may be going elsewhere. Now if we switch to customers, and these are again just sort of the casual customers, you can see that those are very strongly, they're probably tourists basically. They tend to be going down here to the uh, Fisherman's Wharf area, the ferry building, and sure sure enough those are the most popular trips by far. There's also a lot going, down, going on at Caltrain and uh, Barcadero, some, some around there, and there's a strong contingent looks like headed down Market Street as well. So they're probably not all tourists. So one of the interesting things that I find is when the stations empty out and when they fill up, and this is a big issue for bike share systems because they have to move bikes around to uh, basically to make full stations less full and to, to fill in empty stations. So this is one interesting question is when do stations tend to empty and which ones do? Now again, it looks like the Caltrain stations are popular, so this is just stations likely to be empty on any given day, with a guess at about how long they're empty over the course of the day. Let's see if we can break down a little bit. If we look at weekdays, which stations are emptying out? Hmm, kind of what you'd expect. How about weekends? Oh yeah, that, that shifts more towards tourist destinations. You can see again, Fisherman's Wharf tends to empty out. And let's flip that on its head and take a look at full stations. And full stations are as big a problem because if you need to drop off a bike at a full station, you have to go to another station. Sort of the obvious suspects, Caltrain tends to fill up. I wonder if it changes based on the time of the day. So let's look at the morning. These are the stations that tend to fill up in the morning. And that, that Townsend station is really quite popular. What about in the afternoon? Huh, that's interesting. So these are likely to fill up in the afternoon, not so much Caltrain. And how about in the evening? Well, Caltrain really fills up in the evening. That suggests kind of a, a commute pattern. Now this is an app on the App Store, and it's actually just an entry in a much larger app called WhirlyViz. And WhirlyViz uh, lets you do data visualization with uh, scripts. And this is just one script, so you can build a lot of different things with it. Uh, in this particular case, it's the, the first entry, the Bay Area Bike Share entry in the WhirlyViz app.